Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And this video is going to actually be my first review series besides Nope, but I'm not going to talk about that because in my opinion that video did, I think that video would drop, didn't do so well. Um, but within this review series, it's going to be me reviewing every Halloween movie until ends. And then I'm going to be doing a ranking of all the Halloween movies, which is going to be the ranking of how Michael was how he looked, and how the movies were. So, today's review, what we're going to be reviewing is going to be, we're going to be reviewing Halloween 1978 and Halloween 2. So, let's get into the review. So, my opinion, Halloween 1978, I love that movie. You can, it's a classic within any horror genre. It's what really started the entire slasher series Michael, I, see, the kills, in my opinion, they weren't that good, I mean, you had, well, you had the one kill when Michael was behind the girl in the seat, and then he would choke her, and then he stabbed her, but you didn't see the stab, you just saw the splatter on the window, but, my, Halloween, you're, you're really not focusing on the kills, you're really focusing on the stock, the scare factor of Michael, and how him as a character and his presence is. So, within that, we had that kill, and, what was that other kill that we got? Oh, yeah, we got the kill when he pinned to do it against the wall, then he killed the girl, and then he killed his sister in the beginning. I think if I would have to choose my favorite kill from that movie, I would probably would say the one where he pins to do it against the wall, because it's such an iconic kill. Like, I see, I saw the Inge trailer, and I see that there's going to be a kill that's kind of, kind of, going to pay homage to that kill. Because he pins someone against the wall and then tilts his head. It's an iconic kill. Michael looked good. Michael got fucked up in 1978. I didn't realize how many times my man has gotten damaged in that movie. It's been a while since I saw it. This is like my first or first time rewatching him for a while. Because he gets shot. I shot him six times. Dr. Loomis shot him six times. He got stabbed in the eye with the coat hanger by Lori, and then got stabbed in the neck by the needing, the netting needle. And he got, he got pretty damaged in that movie. Um, Lori did good. I loved how Jimmy Lee Curtis was in 1978. It was really good. Halloween, I've always loved the Halloween movies since I was little. Like, I have always loved Michael Myers. And... It's a freaking cult to do this. You have to watch 1978 with Halloween. You have to watch the original on Halloween. Because it's a, it's a perfect Halloween horror movie to watch. I mean, the name says it all. Halloween. The night he came home. I don't know. I really liked it. You can tell it was old. Which it is. But it still stands up to this day. It's de I give it like an, a 10 out of 10. Because, I mean, it's what started what we have today with what ends is, what Halloween is. It started Michael. It started the whole entire slasher series because now you have people like Jason, Freddy, Pinhead, which I don't know if you can really consider Pinhead a slasher, um, Michael, which obviously, Chucky. You have all these killers. Victor Crowley from the Hatchet series. Ghostface. You have all these killers, slashers, horror movies, and people forget that Michael was the one that started it all. As Michael was before Jason. And I like how within Halloween 1, 1978, and Halloween 2, you can watch those movies together as in if you are watching the same movie put together. Because it happens the same night. With how Halloween 1978 ends, Halloween 2 starts off how 1978 ended. And then you get to the hospital, which, the same, uh, believe it or not, Halloween 2, it's the same exact mask as in 78. It doesn't look it. The only reason it doesn't look it is because one of the people who were on the movie, I forgot what her name was, but she had she smoked a lot and she had the mask under her mattress. So the mask soaked in all the smoke and it, it demolded itself and it looks different. That's the reason why it looks different. And it's a different actor who's playing him, too. So it's like it fit the person's face differently, too. Everyone has a different head shape. So that's why in different Halloween movies, 
if the mask looks weird sometimes, it's either because of how the person's head shaped or it's just the mask is really fucking bad. Like for Halloween Resurrection and H2O. I am not looking forward to reviewing those because I think the mask in those movies look awful. They are not good masks at all. And my next my next movie I plan on doing, because this is a two-parter series, like I would say probably for Halloween 2018, I'm going to review Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills within the same movie in the same exact review because same thing with Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. They all happen the same exact night. You can put them two and two together. Another movie that I'm probably not looking forward to reviewing is Halloween Rob Zombies 2. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to have anything positive to say about that movie. Probably one thing, and that one thing is, oh, God, awful. It's good. The one thing I have is good, but they decided to make it a dream sequence, which I think, if you know, you know. But yeah, I, now I'm going to be, because I talked about Halloween 1978. I liked, we're going to talk about that in the spear too, because there's, there's things we got to focus on. The kills. The way Michael was, the way his mask looked, how Lori was in an environment. Halloween 1978, the environment within that movie, I think the environment was really good. Like, you can tell the Halloween atmosphere, and then the quotes. Like, you have an iconic quote where it's like, it's, it's Halloween, everyone's entitled to one good scare. Which, that sheriff said the same thing to Michael in Halloween Kills when he was like, Hey Michael, it's that time of year, it's that time again of the year, everyone's entitled to one good scare. And then Halloween 2, I'm probably going to get so much hate for this, but I liked Halloween 2 more than I did 78. But I'm not going to sit here and say I didn't like 78. I love 78 because it's a classic. And that's not the reason I say I like it because it's a classic. I like it because it's a classic and it's Michael fucking Myers. But Halloween 2, I liked it. I don't know. I think I liked it probably because there was way more kills. Like my favorite kill, would my two favorite kills would probably have to be the one scene where... He, like, turns that hot, that hot tub and makes it super, super, super hot. And then just grabs the girl's head and then keeps dunking it. And then he takes her head out. And then her head, the skin starts to deform. And then the face, the skin starts to come off of the face. And then he just throws her down. I think that's a brutal fucking kill. And the one scene where he, I think it's a pupil. He stabs her in the pupil with the needle and then shoots the air into it. That was a brutal kill, too. Even though it didn't show any, like, blood or anything, just imagine that. It's like, oh, yeah, that's a pretty brutal kill. But I would have to choose my two out of those two would definitely be the hot tub kill. And then Michael, I thought, was pretty good. Michael got... <laughs> he got shot again and got shot between the eyes, which you have that iconic mask with the blood tears running down the mask. I actually own that mask. Which, that picture of me wearing that mask is actually going to be on the thumbnail. And... Michael gets burned, and if you don't know this, originally how Halloween was Halloween three was supposed to be, or Halloween two was supposed to be, it was supposed to be Halloween was supposed to be a one parter, but then so many people liked Michael Myers and liked the slasher Michael, they decided to make a second one, and they then them them doing that Halloween three, no Michael, and a lot of people don't like the movie because of that reason alone. I'm one of the people who likes that movie a lot because it's its own thing. I'll talk more about why I like it and what my thoughts are on it. But Halloween 2 was supposed to go Halloween 2 and then Halloween 3. They didn't want to make a second one, but they did anyway because of how many how many people wanted it to happen. And then Halloween 3, people got pissed off at that movie. And then they decided to bring Michael back in the fourth one. And then Michael stuck. And they, that character stuck throughout the rest of the franchise. It was Halloween was supposed to be movies in different stories. Which I'm glad they didn't do that because then we wouldn't have what Michael is today. But Halloween 2, I love that. I you yeah, I guess you kinda of do have October vibes into that because you have the Halloween, the people dressing up when Michael's walking around the streets, see people dressed up, and then when he killed that one girl when he was walking good in her house and stabbed her. But yeah, Halloween 2, my rating for that would probably be 7 out of 10. I liked it. But Halloween 78 is still going to be above 2. Because 2018 is supposed to go from Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends. But yeah, that's my my review on Halloween 2 and Halloween 1. Let me know what your favorite Halloween movie is in the comments below. And what your favorite Halloween prequel, sequel is. Like, do you like 78 more or do you like Halloween 2 more? Just let me know what your thoughts are on it. 
And for me, I liked Halloween 2 a lot. I just liked the whole hospital vibe. It was a different take because you didn't really get any hospital kills in that movie. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the movies. And as always, stay awesome. And stay freaky.